we are going to get to this week's headlines. Donald John Trump and a group of 18 cohorts have been indicted on Georgia RICO statutes for their activities involving their attempts to allegedly overturn the results of the Georgia election in 2020. The 41-count, 98-page indictment states that the enterprise constituted an ongoing organization whose members and associates functioned as a continuing unit for a common purpose of achieving the objectives of the enterprise. The bringing of RICO charges also has me going, RICO, suave, for the last couple of days, which I'm sure has annoyed my wife immensely. Former President twice impeached and quadruply indicted Trump has until next Friday to voluntarily turn himself in. Mugshots will be taken, the trial can be televised, Kemp cannot pardon him, and if he goes to prison, this could create quite the constitutional crisis. And as we've discussed in the show before, maybe it's time for the GOP to back another horse instead of riding this horse's ass. On Monday, the Biden administration started emailing student loan borrowers who qualified for student loan forgiveness that their loans have been forgiven. They said that the reason the loans had not been forgiven was for so-called administrative failures. When they say administrative failures, what they probably mean is Betsy DeVos refused to do her damn job and failed to cancel many student loans under the public student loan, public service student loan forgiveness program. Some of these plans also are under the income-driven repayment plans that cancel debt after 20 years of repayments. Uh, that have been made. 200,000 people have already had their debt canceled and another 400,000 or more or so will have their debt canceled in the near future. Others will have their repayments terms significantly reduced because of servicers wrongly guiding people into forbearance. And lastly, NFL player Michael Ower subject of the movie the blind side is now stating that the movie rip misrepresented the truth and that he was not adopted as the movie suggested but was placed in a conservatorship and that under their conservatorship the family secured the rights to the movie he also claims that he has not received any compensation for the proceeds of the movie i guess you could say that he was blindsided And that was this week's headlines.